Hey Cancer, this is Soul here. And Cancer, this is your bi-weekly messages beginning September uh, 17th and ending September 23rd, 2018. This is readings, excuse me, and messages for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising for anyone who uh, inquires um, if the reading is meant for them, if they're a moon or a rising and so forth. I've been getting comments in and people asking. So just to... Um, make sure that I'm clear and that everyone else is clear and on the same page that, yeah, this is for all those. If you know your, your moon and your rising signs, then this is, you know, messages that may be for you. If you are those energies. All right, cancer. I hope all is well, uh, looking like some good energy for us. Um, so let's just hope that it, you know, opens up and unfolds for us. Just trying to get myself comfortable here. Um, yeah, it's looking really good. So we open up the uh, energy and for the two week period of time here is the two of. Well, it's not the two of it's the equilibrium and she's this is the two of swords. It is the two of swords. So it's in the upright position. But equilibrium, she's uh, and it's one of the reasons why I like using this deck because she's stating here that the equilibrium, and mostly if you follow the traditional two of swords, it's usually some sort of blockages or having to make some sort of decision, ref, you know, relative to uh, possibly two things, whatever that might be for you. It could be two uh, relationships, two jobs, you know, trying to do a balancing act uh, with two things. But she offers uh, a different perspective here. The artist who's uh, done these cards in this equilibrium. It also could be uh, representative of the energy for us in this next two week period of time that relates to, you know, harmony. Um, some type of, uh, rev you know, res resolution of uh, any types of differences with another person or a situation or within, you know, yourself. Um, all those things that I had mentioned before could still stand, you know, feeling like you're at a crossroad and having to make a choice or decide upon something. Uh, but, you know, it's a little bit of conflict, but it's not great conflict. But it also, too, says that there is, you know, some sort of, re you know, resolution, harmony and, you know, peace and also to um, balance or justice. So that's that equilibrium. OK, so I like this energy for us. So however it you know, applies to your situation, at least we start off with something that's pretty, you know, damn good. Also, too, following that uh, equilibrium or two of swords here is the um, five of swords now. This is the defeat, but it's in the reverse. So, okay, ending of some sort of conflict. So this might be some minor stuff if any of us are dealing with it, but it, it doesn't last long. Normally with the fives and the tens, as I always say, it's energy to come, but it doesn't stick around too long. But this is an ending of some sort of uh, conflict with someone or, you know, persons, or it could have been, a you know, conflict within. In the upright, just to show you, it's the spider, black spider. And, it, you know, the spider has uh, flies caught up in the web so of course you know in the upright position the defeat word would stand true the flies have no power they're defeated and once they're stuck in that web they can't get out and that's that's their conflict okay in the reverse there's a possibility of getting out of the web and getting away from the spider but that's the ending of their conflict. And the same holds true for you, Cancer. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female represents that equilibrium card, two of swords and the five of swords. So no longer feeling defeated, coming out of conflict with some type of energy. Next up is the uh, two of pentacles. Wow. Two of pentacles. And that's the card that normally, um, you know, results in juggling two things now i mentioned some of that with you know that energy with the two of swords but because the word equilibrium there that's what i was getting and the same thing holds true and applies to this uh change card see she's renamed it and she's called it change i always pick up uh, the fact that 
the change and we're, you know, entering into fall season now. So this is the on this side here, the leaves are falling on this side here. Winter, you see snow if you can see it. So um, I like these cards. I'm, I think I'm going to continue using them um, because they, you know, they speak volumes and they speak a lot to me. OK, so it could be the change of season and still having to balance things out two things along with the equilibrium but i felt that the equilibrium offered a more um better perspective in terms of having to achieve some sort of you know harmony and having to uh also achieve some sort of resolution if there was some sort of conflicting energies uh within yourself or with another person it also says too about um things that i'm picking up is about equilibrium in this peace peace and harmony okay and that could be with an uh another person change this is the balancing act trying to balance two things two jobs two relationships as well okay but i feel that it's it's more of a, a giving me a seasonal feel because it's right uh in line to the change of our seasons okay for the those that live in the united states mm. so Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female represents these energies and it doesn't really matter. Also, too, I feel like there's uh, with the two of Pentacles showing up for some of you who um, there could be a small raise coming in. Someone could be, you know, working two jobs or acquire another job to earn extra income. That's another way of putting that message out there. Uh, and then, of course, you know, with the sword showing up. And then we have the son of swords, son of uh, air, I'm sorry. And he's in the reverse. So someone's, un, you know, there's some sort of indecisiveness going on. Just to show you in the upright position, this is the knight of air. Someone being indecisive, not taking action. You know, against someone, something or other. Something you're not sure about. Normally when I get the Knight of uh, Air in the reverse or any, you know, Queen, King, it means that you know, there's some sort of confusion or there's some sort of uncertainty. Um, I wouldn't necessarily, it could be, you know, uh, some sort of clouding of judgment. But I usually get uncertainty or confusion about having to make a decision and you're not, you know, you're not sure if you're going to uh, do the right thing for yourself or if it's involving other people. This is a court card, so it may be in reference to, you know, a relationship or friendship. It could be somebody that you work with, almost uh, anything that comes to mind. That's for those cancers uh, who may find themselves in this two-week period of time. If you're not experiencing the equilibrium and having to think clearly and bring some sort of peace and harmony <clears throat> when it comes to making decisions and dealing with others it just might be that few that and this could be something that's minor it doesn't necessarily have to be major normally i pick up major stuff when it comes to the king and queen but this is the knight okay and this is someone who's uh having some sort of reluctance to take action or move forward in terms of their um thinking being clouded or not sure or uncertainty all right just so you know then we have the next card following um that knight of uh knight of swords knight of swords i'm sorry so let me just swing back here normally you know i say that the knight in shining armor but this could be somebody who's around cancer who's very very critical too and um, has some sort of critical uh, thinking. This person um, you know, maybe smart mouth or say something very, you know, sharp, has a very sharp tongue. But it, <laughs> what I'm getting though, if this is somebody that you know, is around cancer, they're all talk and no action. See, because he's in the reverse, okay? May have a smart or sharp tongue, but that's all it is. But he's someone that doesn't take any action. It could be a female as well. Seven of Cups is following that. This is the illusion. Um, 
and she's used camels on this okay so your energy and that energy of scorpio and um pisces male or female uh pyramids are in the back so i wonder if the illusion aspect <clears throat> and i've heard you know before that the seven of cups although it represents you know having many options is um not to get caught up in any types of illusions okay false illusions uh so keep that important but there's you know uh, many things for you to possibly uh, pick and choose from if there are options many options that come your way this two week period of time and also too, i always say make sure that whatever it is that uh, becomes optional for you and you have to pick and choose then make sure it's something that's going to resonate for you for the long haul okay because you don't this is the only warning sign to this uh, seven of cups that you don't want to have something to come back and bite you in your uh your ass uh basically because the illusion stepped in or you weren't you know thinking about other things cups represent children so it could be something involving children um but also to its relationships too you know of all kinds romantic platonic family um so and then you know Co-workers are considered sometimes family, too. So you can apply that. Now, interesting, we have all these twos here. You have the equilibrium, two of swords. You have the two of pentacles, change card. Now you have the two of cups, cancer. Okay, this is the love card. All right, so this could be um, a new relationship. It could be a new job, start of a new job. Being on the same page with one another or your relationships. Uh, that also, too, in conjunction with that equilibrium, provides harmony. It could be magnetic, you know, magnetic attraction. Okay, just getting along well with whoever. It could be a friendship. And it also could because, it, you know, children and family. So love is here, two of cups, and that's good. It's in the upright position, all right? Then we have the, oh, shit, it just gets better here, Cancer. Oh, you have the king of cups here, all right, father of water. He's in the upright. So that is definitely indicative of possibly all those things that I just mentioned, family, a greater family love or some sort of bonding emotional bonding going on with the family it could be a relationship a new relationship existing relationships it could be friendships intuition which is part of our energy pay attention to your intuition in this next two week period of time It's going to this father of uh, water shows up to tell you that hey something might come up for you that you have to pay uh, you know close attention to but whatever it is that you're uh, given in terms of a prompt you know, always go with your guts, you know, instincts, because it's usually the correct answer. So this is a person could be female that's loving, gives love emotionally there to support you. Or their, you know, their loved ones. And this could just represent your energy, cancer and doing that, uh, you know, all those things I just mentioned to other people. So don't uh, get it twisted here. This could just represent your energy and that you are the loving, supportive, emotional, supportive person uh, in someone's life, whether it be your children, your romantic partner, or it could be something that's representative and what's to come in terms of a development of a new friendship, a romantic partnership and so forth. Now, the final card that finishes off this strong positive reading but someone will always have a fucking problem it never fails and i think that people just do that shit to be smart but i don't give a shit anyway the ten of cups is your final card and this is the card of repletion all right so the ten of cups is about you know it could be you know somebody getting married weddings family though it's relationships it's just feeling good overall about everything that's, um, you know, that you're experiencing in your life, whether it's the uh, romantic partnership, whether it's the, the great friendship, whether it's um, your, you know, you don't have a partnership, but you have children um, and, you know, 
that's the support emotional support and the feel and you could be single with no children and this is just the energy that i feel that could you know um come across to you or there's something that encounters you you just what i'm trying to say is that during this two-week period of time you might experience not necessarily inertia but some of you may but it's just where you are right now in your current uh state of being or in your life this is the the king of cups ten of cups you're feeling good okay this also could represent uh large family gatherings or gatherings because the cups do represent um social stuff for me and swinging back here to the two of cups that could be an invite to uh you know like a date a first date it could be you know existing relationships and you know you're taken out to uh, a restaurant movie or some something your your partner's trying to express uh the love that you know he or she has for you or you could be doing this to them it could also be all those things that I mentioned before. You know, I don't want to sound redundant or repetitive, but it could be taking a friend out to dinner, taking, you know, a child out to dinner or whatever, whatever, you know, is floating your boat. OK, but this 10 of uh, cups here is the perfection. I mean, I'm repletion card. OK, it's renewal it could be something in terms of renewal of energy or emotional support um, with this repletion card underneath this maybe there's someone who has to decide about um, a relationship maybe it's your energy cancer and it's about a relationship and taking that plunge um, with a new relationship or someone could be just doing that and the energy is coming towards you. It doesn't really matter. I'm just throwing an example here. Whatever, uh, however the messages fit for you, you know, use it. It's just general reading, so. All right, so, but I like this energy for us, Cancer. I really do. I like this energy. So, it may not be an indication of a shift of um, energy for some of us because um, all of it is not going to apply to everyone. All right, but hopefully... The majority of it does. All right. So that's it for the uh, single cancers um, from the rebel deck. I have chosen the message for you. You are giving away your power on the reverse side. It says you are a badass. Act like it for the couple uh, cancerians. Um, your message is family shit <laughs> is getting on your nerves. All right. I just said you have the Ten of Cups. Uh, have each other's back. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I uh, want to wish you all a very safe upcoming two weeks ahead. Always emphasizing that safety. You know I do. And sending you all quite a bit of love and light your way. Until I talk to you again, Cancer, please be well. Bye.